with spring officially arriving next Friday and a change in the overall weather pattern already underway. This is a good time to look back on meteorological winter, particularly the month we'll all remember for a long time. Now, it does seem like a distant memory, but the winter actually started out rather tame. Here's the temperature anomalies for December. The browns and oranges that cover Pennsylvania mean two to as much as six degrees above average, and that was the case in pretty much the entire Northeast. January certainly turned more wintry in terms of cold. The darker green here means two to four degrees below average. The blue four to six degrees below. This relative chill in January in Pennsylvania pretty much balanced out the relative warmth of December. So February would decide how the winter as a whole would lean. And it certainly left no doubt. Here's the February temperature anomalies. The color scale has changed. Blue now means 8 to 12 degrees below average, purple a whopping 12 to 16 below, an anomaly that would be noteworthy for one day, let alone an entire month. Now here's the departure from average for a few specific places. All except Erie have very long observation periods going back to the 1890s. The number in parentheses is the rank in terms of coldest Februaries. And last month is now number one, except in Philadelphia. Now here's where February ranks in terms of coldest month on record. And this includes January's. It's top four, and either one or two in the northern tier counties. And you know as well as I that there have been some pretty cold Januaries in the past in Pennsylvania. The latter half of February was particularly brutal. Here's average temperatures from the 15th to the 28th. So this includes both highs and lows. These numbers would be 10 or so degrees below normal, even if they were just low temperatures. And that 11 in State College was five degrees colder than the previous coldest latter half of February. Now breaking a daily record by five degrees is unusual at a place where records have been kept for 120 years, let alone a record spanning two weeks. Finally, here's the lowest temperature recorded at a bunch of places this winter. All these occurred in the last two weeks of February. Officially, minus 32 was the bottom, but there were plenty of negative teens and 20s. That minus 18 at Erie ties for lowest temperature on record there. For the most part, only the Philadelphia area escaped sub-zero temperatures sometime in February. Now, as a whole, because December wasn't that cold, the winter of 2014-15 will finish anywhere from about 10th to 25th coldest on record, depending on where you are. But certainly February 2015 will be a month we won't forget anytime soon. Fred is back next with the extended forecast.